Hi, welcome to a new video. Um, today I'm going to take a look at Scum VM. There are tons of great old adventure games and they're perfectly suited to be played on the Pandora. Scum VM, yeah, it supports dozens of really, really great old adventure games. So let's just take a look at a few. One of the all-time classics, I think, that's Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I've got the talky version here. So here's just a bit of the intro. Haven't seen that for a long time, but yeah, that's certainly a game I want to replay sometimes, especially the talky version. All right, Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Some kind of funeral or... Another LucasArts classic with great graphics for that time being um, was Full Throttle, still a low risk game, but with nice animations, nice cutscenes. Works pretty well with the touch screen as well, as you can see. Some joker Just took click my keys. Where you like want to that. go, or click and keep pressed to make an action. Works flawlessly. Open up. I uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. But here, of course, that's nothing new. Low risk games can be played on the GP2X and Wiz as well. Here's one thing that's really cool on the Pandora, Broken Sword 2, the German version. It's a high risk game and the high resolution graphics looks ex absolutely astounding on that uh, small Pandora screen. Well, small is, it, it's, it's actually a big screen, I think, for a handheld. Much bigger than any other handheld I own. And it looks really nice and plays great. Eine moderne kleine Leinentasche mit einem Lippenstift, einem handgeschriebenen Zettel und einem mir scheint. So let's leave the commonly known games and take a look at a high resolution game which is not that commonly known. That's I have no mouth and I must scream. It's a horror adventure, really, really dark. Um, I never played it, but I want to play it and somebody at the boards also requested it. So here are a few pictures from that game. So damned yellow. And why does it terrify me so? Paralyze me so? And back to one of the first games I played. After Maniac Mansion, there was Sack McCracken. This is the FM Towns version, which has sound effects and background noises and really, really nice 256 color graphics. I remember playing that on the C64 and later on the Amiga, but this remade version for the FM Towns looks so much better. Just enjoy these pictures. I like that Indie 3 poster there for the game. ScumVM nowadays plays more games than adventure games, though he is one of those cl classic PC games as well. The first one that came on CD-ROM, I think, on two CDs. I remember playing that when I was 15 or 16 years old, seventh guest, with a lot of nice puzzles, nice dark atmosphere, pre-rendered animations as PCs couldn't do any 3D graphics back at that time. Uh, that was really one of the highlights. I remember playing that with my MIDI synthesizer connected to my sound blaster card to get proper sound and a darkened room. I definitely should replay this one. Has some nice puzzles. Exactly the same, including the symbols. Like that's impossible. Besides Lucas uh, Arts games, you can also play Sierra games. Here's a remake of King's Quest One. Nice thing is that I can control my character with the D-pad and that I can use the uh, keyboard for typing commands. So, 
look at water and this is a beautiful little lake. Next there's a VGA remake of Space Quest 1. Also working with a touch screen or I can move around the character with the D-pad. Um, what's also nice, I can uh, press a key to bring up the menu and then use the D-pad to simply select my symbol and click with the mouse. So with the D-pad and the touchscreen it can be played pretty well. Now, for the all-time classic or one of the all-time mm. classics, it looks, looks dangerous. really cool in high-res, the Curse of Monkey Island. I don't think so. I didn't show any Monkey Island 1 or Monkey Ahoy. Island 2, those are the games that everybody knows and of course they play well, they played well on so many other different systems. But Monkey Island 3 just looks so beautiful on that LCD, you gotta love that. So, enjoy the last few screens from that one. How there will be no video on Wednesday, but on Monday I'll be back with some uh, Bluetooth Windows Mobile Phone tethering and internet web surfing. Hey! See you. That mug's for paying customers only. Danger Cove. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for overs. We can sing in every clap. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tune deaf. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay. Back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. <laughs>